Hello YouTube viewers, Sri Tips here, and today what I'm going to do is uh, <clears throat> start up my electrolytic silver cell. I want to use the uh, electrolyte from a previous refining, but it looks kind of dark blue like there's a lot of copper in there, and so uh, 60 grams per liter is the limit that I want to try to stay under for dissolved copper in my silver cell electrolyte. And I can't tell by looking how much copper is in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my spectral photometer to determine the amount of dissolved copper in this electrolyte to see if I can use it for another refining. What I'll do here is draw a sample up out of my electrolyte that I want to test and fill one of my little tubes here. Now I'll draw a sample of a silver nitrate solution to use for the blank. This is 200 grams per liter. Before I start the test, I want to show you how I determined the proper wavelength to use for this test. I made a solution of 60 grams per liter of dissolved copper and then I put it into the uh, machine and went through and tested at different wavelengths and found that at 640 it produced the least amount of transmittance and the greatest amount of absorption of light at the wavelength setting of 640. So that is the uh, wavelength setting that I'll use to perform this test. Here's the instructions I'm using. Uh, I've let this thing, it's been on now for about 20 minutes and I've set the wavelength for 640 and now I'm going to set the scale to uh, zero with this knob right here. All right, now I take my uh, blank sample and I wipe it off real good. I insert it into the cavity here. And then I use this knob over here to adjust a full scale deflection uh, up to 100. Once I get it set to 100, and I take out my blank and I insert my unknown sample here and I take a transmittance reading I get 14.6 14.6 on the transmittance shift the mode to absorbance here and I get 0 .3, 0 0.835 Okay, I've recorded the readings on this little tag here, and now we're going to go look at the chart and see what our uh, copper concentration is uh, for this electrolyte sample. Here's the chart that I prepared ahead of time using 60 grams of copper dissolved in uh, one liter of solution and silver nitrate. I set the uh, wavelength for 640, and then I put a sample in that was all copper. And I got these readings here, transmittance and absorbance. Then I put a solution in that had one part silver nitrate, nine parts copper. And I got these readings, two parts silver nitrate, eight parts copper in solution. Got these readings, three parts silver nitrate, seven parts copper solution. And I got these readings and so on down the line. Based on the results of my test that I just took, I'm right in here somewhere between 5.5 five and 4.6, so I'm still good on this electrolyte. As I move up the scale here, I get higher in concentration of copper, and it becomes unusable because I'm approaching the 60 gram per liter limit. Further down the scale, I'm usable electrolyte because I have less concentration down in this area. I'm right in here. So I'm about halfway there with my copper concentration, so I should be able to use this electrolyte 
for another refining. Usually I can tell by looking whether or not I can use that electrolyte for another refining. But sometimes it gets to the point where you can't tell visually. So that's why I have this spectrophotometer so that I can do a reading on it and uh, pretty much accurately determine the copper concentration inside that electrolytic silver cell to see if I can use that electrolyte one more time. And in this case, I think I can. I've got some more great refining videos coming up, including watch batteries, getting the silver out of those. I'm going to do the uh, palladium from the silver cell slimes. I've got some Alaskan placer gold that I'll be trying a new process on that. And also the uh, catalytic converter beads, the catalytic converters, and last but not least, my stock pot. That's all coming up very soon.